struggles and furniture vessels. Thank you, Honourable Chairperson. Chairperson, the plight of the students because of financial exclusion is a legitimate plight. But we can never condone violence and lawlessness. If you break the law, you should bear the consequences. No matter how noble Order, Honourable Members, is. I can hear the member on the podium. <clears throat> Continue, Honourable Vessels. Chairperson, it is unacceptable that irreplaceable books, paintings, buildings and so forth was destroyed during these protests. This did not serve the goal of obtaining free higher education. It was detrimental to that goal. 800 million rand, Honourable Ndlosi, could have funded 8,000 students to obtain a degree. 8,000 students. But that was destroyed by lawlessness. But the EFF does not understand that because they are still in a revolution. That party you missed, the, re the revolution is over. We need restoration, not a revolution. We need to build this country. And what you are preaching Chair. is breaking down Chair. and destroying the Honourable country, Vessels. which is not Honourable Vessels, please take your seat. Yes, why are rising, Honourable Member? This member keeps on pointing at us and saying that we do not need a revolution. Honourable Member. Of course, we need the restoration of the land. What is your point of order? That's a point of you are it's debating. Addressing, it's addressing us. It's supposed to address okay, the Okay, thank you. And That's the point of order we'll accept. The restoration thank of you. The land. No, don't debate, Honourable Member. Thank you very much. Honourable Vessels, please continue. Thank you, and you have heard. It is unfortunate when some members minds are behind bars. The problem is that the tendency Point of order. is to break down when someone Honourable is unhappy. Honourable Vessels, please take your seat. On, on what rule are you rising, Honourable Member? It's a point of order, Chair. Isn't it true that an empty vessel makes Hon the Honourable, noise? Honourable Member. Honourable Member. No. That's not a point of order and we can't continue like that. Continue, Honourable Vessels. And if you strike a full vessel, you won't move it. <laughs> Honourable Chairperson, the tendency to destroy is not limited to feast must fall. And it's also not only the EFF that's preaching lawlessness. It's also the members of the ruling party, the alliance partners, that has had that tendency for years. When members of the ANC in a municipality are unhappy, they burn. They burn houses, they burn constituency offices, they burn the mayor's house and then it's factions within the ruling party. That is lawlessness and anarchy. We cannot build a country and be economic viable if we continue on this trend. Chairperson, the Honourable Nlossi is correct. These students do not fall in the same category of criminals as Dilunzana, Zuma and so forth. And also not in the same category of the Honourable Malema who, with his former comrades, stole money which could have funded free higher education. It is the corruption of people like Julius Malema and comrades in the ANC that are stealing the money Point of from order. The Honourable Vessels, please the take your seat. Yes, Honourable Member. Can you please tell that man honorable not what to you are call honorable the CIC Julius Malema is honorable Julius Malema, tell him. Honorable member, every member of the house should be referred to as an honorable. Please continue. I said honorable, but I'll say dishonorable this time. On a point of order, Chairperson. Yes, honorable member. That member must withdraw whatever you have said about the commander in chief. He knows as well, he knows as well, he must bring a substantive motion to the house. He, have, he must withdraw. Otherwise, he won't continue speaking there. Honor on that Honorable point. member, you have made your point. Don't give ru rulings. Honorable member, you know that to, 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 to bring any uh, aspersions, you have to bring an, a substantive motion. And the, in this instance, you said a member of this house had looted. And please withdraw from that. 
Thank you, Chairperson. Unfortunately, I cannot withdraw the truth. It is for, uh, it is for uh, this honourable Malema who stole the member. money from the students. Honourable Member, Honourable Member, the poor has applied. You are not can used you, to the plight of the poor. You only. Honourable vessels, honourable vessels, we are, we are working according to the rules in this house. I ask you to withdraw that part. I, I'm asking you to withdraw the part. It's, it's on here. Continue. Please you call the withdraw. bouncers to take this man out. Hon call the bouncers. Honorable continue. member, continue wait, on. Honorable Jamini. Let no, me talk withdraw. to Mr. Vessels. Continue. Honorable Vessels, please withdraw and we can go on with the man work. For the first time, the second time, and the third time, I cannot withdraw. The if group. you cannot withdraw, would you please leave the podium? Thank you. He must go to Orania from here. No, go he to Orania. Leave Honorable house. Orania, you after you are the next. Point he must leave the house. Point to order. Honorable Lukota, please. No, they are leaving. Point to order. He knows he has to. Honorable, yes, Honorable Your Member. House Chairperson, the rules must apply consistently. If you're going to ask the Honourable Vessels for leaving for what he said, to have this group of people shouting, go to Aranya, etc., is not parliamentary either. And Unfortunately, I didn't even hear that. Thank you for problem. that. That's the problem. It's always the opposition. Uh, no, I didn't order hear speaker. that, Honourable, and nobody stood on a point of order. Order, Chair. Please take your seats, Honourable Members, I've ruled. Chair. Take your seats. I just want to get a clarity. Who's a group of people here? We are Honourable, honourable members member, here in this house. Please. Who's a group of people here? We must not be honourable undermined here. We must honourable not be undermined members, here. I think I have ruled. Please take your seat. Honourable Stenhazen, I have ruled. House Chairperson. Uh, a group of people. Honourable member, I didn't ask you to respond. Not going to be bullied by Stephen Hazen. Yeah. I didn't ask you to respond. Take your seat. Can we allow Honourable Lakota to continue? Honourable Lakota. Honourable Lakota, please continue. <coughs> Madam, Madam Chair. Madam Chairperson. Order, Honorable Members. Allow Honorable Lukota to make his speech. Thank you. Uh, th thank you, Chairperson. My understanding is that we are debating here whether we should give a blanket amnesty to those who were arrested for the violence that erupted around the fees must fall. Uh, the first point I'd like to make is that in both national and international no law, amnesty is generally granted to those who have already been convicted of proven crimes. So it's not possible to give somebody amnesty unless you have proven that they have committed a crime. When it comes to the individuals who have been convicted, it's going to be important to evaluate each case on its merits. So these two elements are important to take into account as we deal with this matter. Now, I would like to uh, take some lessons from the history of our country. As we struggled under apartheid, we had no political rights. We had no political rights. And therefore, it often did happen that a genuine protest spilled over into into violent activities. Honorable Ngozi, please. Nevertheless, nevertheless, we insisted, we insisted, and our leadership insisted, both at home, on Robben Island and abroad, that when you struggle for a just cause, you must do so in a disciplined fashion. So it was very important. I was arrested for transgressing the laws of apartheid. What I didn't do was to struggle 
Is it a parliamentary that when I'm speaking? Honourable point of order. Member, point yes. of order. Thank you, Honourable Member. Sorry, House Chair. Let's yes. just carry on for a moment longer. Can I hear what is the, the point of order? The Honourable Nglozi mm. just said to the Honourable Lakota, you are lying. Honourable Lakota, thank you. the beginning of this you. debate, thank the EFF have held and harangued every single Honourable Member, can down. you allow me? I've heard your point of order. I haven't finished order. my point of order, actually. Honourable Lakota, Honourable Lakota, did you hear that? I heard it. Yes. Okay. Honorable Nkosi, did you say Honorable Lukota was lying? No. No. Honorable no. members. You say no. Hey, Madam Chair. Okay. Uh, Honorable uh, um, Stian Hazen. Uh, either the, the, the table staff did not hear that either myself. That's why I'm asking you that please try to be quiet so that I can hear what's happening in the house. On this point, I am done and I'm saying if it's possible that it can be heard from the hard, uh, handset, it is fine, we will follow up on it. Because neither myself nor the uh, service officer had that remark. Continue, Honorable Lekota. Madam Chair, the point I was making is that even in those circumstances, continuously as the leadership of the mass movement in the country, we had the duty to continuously say to our followers and supporters, please not to break the law, because that is what that is what we were taught how to lead the people in struggling. You want support. You want mass support. When the community looked and saw that what you were struggling for was a just cause and you were doing it in a manner that enhanced the position of the organization. It is for that reason, by the way, that President, uh, the late President Oliver Tambo went to sign the Geneva Conventions to show that the liberation movement was a disciplined force that would act within accepted revolutionary action as opposed to terrorist activity. At Where? that point, we want to thank you, Honorable Lekota, your much. time has expired. I thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> The next speaker...